It was the year 1886. We stood the test of time. I know you look at me and you see a well-spoken, intelligent, very handsome baseball player. To be selfless is to put the needs of others in front of your very young. It takes a big person to be able to consistently exhibit this type of behavior. Me and my family went to Virginia to eat dinner. We ordered our food, but tell me why the waiter told us we need to pay before we eat. I understand people believe I'm just a statistic. I say to them I'm different. This is who I am, like it or hate it. I'm sorry if you don't accept me. If you're meant to be here, then you will be here. Group mentoring is a strategy for connecting small groups of adult men to mentor a larger group of boys to foster empowerment through positive self-image, social and academic achievement and civic engagement. Our purpose is to cultivate the social, emotional, academic, and moral well-being of young African-American boys. Achievement in every field of human endeavor, in the classrooms, in sports, and in my community. What place in the city that you've been, and this hurts me, that makes you feel unwelcome? So what makes you feel most welcome? Positive discipline. All them stereotypes, not today. Preparing our young men to be successful in life, in the classroom, and in work strong sense of responsibility and value for the community in which they live that causes them to go be agents of change through being a faithful husband, a selfless father, and a loving I'm going to a conference and I'm trying to talk to other people that may be in my field and I'm trying to network with them and talk. You never know how you're going to be received and so that sometimes makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable personally. I myself grew up in a fatherless home. I didn't meet my uh, mentor until college. And so it changed my life radically, and that's what I want to do for the boys. My name is Rick Trace, and I'll be These guys are going to graduate high school over the next three or five years. Fayette County Public Schools, we believe all students have an opportunity and have a right to learn, so we remove barriers to provide opportunities. While they come to school and we work with them to try to help them succeed and stay away from the things that, uh, that can hinder them from success. Far too many of us aren't getting opportunities that we deserve. This is not right, America. This is just not right. I won't let my struggle be in If you're going to be positive, to change your perception, you have to be positive. I feel that if I share my story and what I've been through, it will inspire 